While the economy seems to be roaring along, beneath the surface there is uncertainty for small business owners and the people who work for them. Joining us today is Melinda Emerson, America's number one small business expert. She's out with a new book, Fix Your Business, a 90-day plan to get back your life and reduce chaos in your business. Good morning, Melinda. Thank you, Will. How are you? Good. Good to have you here with us uh, today. Look, small businesses are really the heart and soul of a lot of communities. But for someone who really wants to start up a small business, it can be, it can be a gamble at best um, and also can put a lot of stress on their life. So what do you recommend small businesses do to, take, uh, to, to not be so stressed out and also to be successful? Well, I have what I call the 12 P's of running a successful business. So I'm going to give you three of them. So the first one is people. You need some people. But the, the issue is you got to have the right people working for you. All right. But then you've got to consider, are you going to take the time to train your people? A lot of times business owners are so stressed out, they hire people and throw them the keys and say, good luck. Right. So what we want people to do is develop an onboarding process for people so they know how to do the work you need them to do and then they know what your expectations are. The next thing you've got to look at is your performance. What are you measuring in your business? When's the last time you even looked at your Google Analytics to figure out what is actually driving traffic to your business? Or are you looking at your accounts receivable turnover ratio? How long does it take you to get that money back into your business once you issue some invoices? You know, there's all kinds of things you could be measuring in your business, but most importantly, you got to be measuring your profitability. How much profit is in every sale? Or do you have a glorified hobby? And then the next thing you've got to look at is your productivity. One of the best ways to increase your productivity in your business is to take credit cards. There's still all these businesses out here that don't take credit cards. And if you're struggling with cash flow, you might want to consider going cash free so you can get your customers through the line much faster by helping them use credit cards. So, you know, if you, like I tell people, if you're struggling with cash flow, consider going cash free. That is so true. A lot of businesses, you go in and they, and they, and they, they won't take credit cards. I'm like, what are you doing? It's money. You're just not even... Yeah, you're, it's crazy. You're not even, it's crazy. <laughs> it really is crazy. Now, you've also uh, um, partnered to help small businesses. Tell us about the cashless challenge that you have going on, too. Well, I partnered with Visa to give away $500,000 to 50 small business owners around the country. So each food-based business owner got $10,000. And I'm so excited because I'm about to go out on my national book tour. And when we go into cities where we have winners, they're going to be given a $10,000 Visa check card for their business. And I'm sure they can use that, uh, that uh, a, a lot, actually. That'll come in handy. What's the one thing when, when people go out and buy your book, they, they want to get their business off the ground. But what's the one thing that they can really take away from your book? If they're struggling in their business, my book, Fix Your Business, is going to give them a 90-day turnaround plan. If they do the work, that is what they're going to walk away with, a new strategic plan for their business so they can live their dream life as an entrepreneur. And man, being your own boss can be, can be great, but it can also be really, really stressful. Thanks so much, Melinda. And for more information, be sure to visit roadshow.com.